guys. So I am continuing to read Exodus chapter 35. Grab your Bibles and join me as I read the Word of God. Do you know what I like about Moses? What I really love about Moses. Whenever Moses spoke with the Lord and the Lord gave him messages for other people, he delivered the messages just as he received them, unfiltered. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Anyway, Moses had just finished consulting with the Lord about traveling with them into the promised land. He even reminded him of his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because after what Israelite, the children of Israel, had done to the Lord, he didn't want to go with them. He didn't want to be in their midst. But after Moses spoke with him, he decided he is going to be in their midst as they go into the promised land. So we're continuing to read as God continue to reaffirm his instructions to the people through his servant Moses. So Exodus chapter 35, and I'm reading the King James Version. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord had commanded that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day they shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord. Hmm. Whosoever doeth work therein hmm, shall be put to death. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Hmm. And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart. Let him bring it, an offering of the Lord, gold and silver and brass and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and ram skin dyed red and badger skin and shittim wood and oil for the light, and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense, and onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod, and for the breastplate. And every wise-hearted among you shall come, and make all that the Lord had commanded. The tabernacle, his tent, and his covering, his statues, and his boards, his bars, his pillars, and his sockets, the ark, and the staves thereof, with the mercy seat and the veil of the covering, the table and his staves, and all his vessels, and the shrew bread, the candlestick also for the light, and his furniture, and his lamp, with the oil for the light and the incense altar, and his staves, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the door at the entering in of the tabernacle, the altar of burnt offering with his brazen grate, his staves, and all his vessels, the laver and his foot, the hangings of the court, his pillars, and their sockets, and the hanging for the door of the court, the pins of the tabernacle and the pins of the court and their cords, the clothes of service to do service in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron, the priest, and the garments of his sons to minister in the priest's office. And all the congregation of the children of Israel 
departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, every one whose heart stirred him up, and every one whom his spirit made willing. And they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation, and for all his service, and for the holy garments. And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing-hearted, and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets, all jewels of gold, and every man that offered, offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. Hmm. And every man with whom was found blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and red skins of rams and badger skins brought them. Every one that did an offer, an offering of silver and brass, brought the Lord's offering. And every man with whom was found shit and wood for any work of the service brought it. Mm. And all the women that were wise-hearted did spin with their hand and brought that which they had spun, both of blue and of purple and of scarlet and of fine linen. And all the women whose hearts stirred them up in wisdom spun goats here. And the rulers brought onyx stones and stones to be set for the ephod and for the breastplates and spice and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. The children of Israel brought a willing offering unto the Lord, every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work which the Lord had commanded to be made by the hand of Moses. And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord had called by name Bezaleel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and he hath filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and all manner of workmanship, and to devise curious works, to work in gold and in silver and in brass, and in the cutting of stones to set them, and in carving of wood to make any manner of cunning work. And he had put in his heart that he may teach both he and a holy app, the son of Ahishamach of the tribe of Dan. Them had he filled with wisdom of heart to work all manner of work of the engraver and of the cunning workman and of the embroidery in blue and in purple, in scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver, even of them that do any work and of those that devise cunning work. Mm. Thus ends the reading of Exodus chapter 35. Moses has begun to deliver the message to the people, and they are listening with receptive hearts. Let's continue to read the Word of God, meditate on it, and let's continue to study and let God's Holy Spirit minister to us as we meditate and ponder and as He directs us about His Word and how we can be found in His opinion in obedience and in his righteousness. Join me again. Exodus chapter 36 coming up next. Thank you for reading with me.